On today's video, we're making cherry bomb ribs on the pellet cooker. So let's get to cooking. All right, so what we have here is Prairie Fresh All Natural Baby Back. I'm just doing one today, cause that's all I need, if I'm just being honest with you. Super simple, super easy. We are using our cherry apple wood, god dang, cherry wood smoked chipotle. This is a rub that we came out with in our Q-Lab. If you don't know about it, it's where we actually release a brand new product once a month to a private community that gets the taste test, sample these, give us feedback, and vote on do we keep it or do we kill it. It's a lot of fun in there, actually. There's a, it's actually getting really entertaining. The Cherrywood Smoked Chipotle, hands down, everybody's favorite so far this year. So we're gonna do all things cherry on our baby back. We got our barbecue sauce and our glaze. These are just here for me. All right, so we're gonna be cooking these on the pellet grill at 300 degrees, center rack, middle rack. Why did I say center rack? It will be in the center rack, the center of the rack, but it'll be the middle rack. We're gonna wrap them in foil with a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit, little bit of blue butter, and we are going to use our glaze in the wrap as well as at the end with barbecue sauce. This is a competition secret that most people don't know about. Most people don't probably by now didn't even know that I used to cook competition barbecue for a living. So that's what we're doing. All right, so let's get started. We're just gonna take these ribs out. I feel like everybody on YouTube should know how to peel a membrane as of now, but I gotta do it anyways. I'll let you be a part of it. Butter knife, you don't have to use a butter knife. You can use your finger, a lot of people do. But what I do is come right where the bone is. I haven't done this in so long. Then I hook it with my thumb. These are a little slippery. Force my thumb under there. You can use a paper towel if you need to. But if you do it like this, you generally don't need to. Boom, just like that. Wipe your hands off. Now, for baby backs, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna trim them. Boy, they got a gouge in this one. And I'm not gonna go crazy heavy on the back of the rib. This rib is a super thin rib, and you don't wanna get nuts with it. But, I'll just shake it right out of the bag. This is gonna have a ton of cherry flavor. These are gonna be fantastic. Flip it over, do the other side. Now here I'm gonna be a little bit more generous. Press that in. Flip that little doohickey around. Now here I'll just, I'll put it on my hand and then shove it up on there. Boom, just like that. Well, that Chipotle smells good. And you can smell the cherry already. So we are running cherry wood pellets. We have our Traeger, we're cooking on a Traeger, uh, running at 300 degrees. So let's just take them outside and get them going. At 300, they're gonna take roughly about an hour and 45 minutes, possibly two hours. Thanks, Matt. Center of the middle, just like I said. So we're gonna leave these on here. We're gonna come back and check on them in probably about 45 minutes, but we're really not gonna have to do much with these. Where they're sitting right here, they're gonna get a lot more color and that deep red is gonna start coming out. These are gonna look fantastic, but moreover, they're gonna taste even better. All right, so the ribs are ready to wrap. So we're gonna do a partial competition wrap. I'm gonna teach you how we've done it for years. Uh, so pay attention here because there's one secret in here. I'm not even gonna call attention to it and I'm gonna see if any of you catch it to see how well you're paying attention and leave it down in the comments. It's just regular foil. Sometimes, well not sometimes, in competition I actually use heavy duty foil which you can buy, it's extremely expensive but it's like a freaking pop can. And with ribs, you gotta kinda be careful, but if you learn how to wrap your ribs a little delicate, it's phenomenal. 
Now right there, boom. I'm gonna tell you this secret. That ain't the one I'm gonna, I want you to guess, but. So let's say you got four racks of ribs and you, you, you bring them in and you're, you're like, oh my gosh, and you gotta do every single one and glove and de-glove and glove and de-glove. You don't have to do that. Take your butter in a circle. Build you a moat. You can put this a little bit down. I'm gonna do this for display purposes, how I normally would do it in competition. Half a handful of butter. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Thank you, Wes. Most people would take the uh, the butter and, and do zigzags back and forth, go out, get their stuff, come back in, glazes on the floor. You don't have to worry about that. I showed you how to do it, save you a mess. Let's go get the ribs. Oh yeah. Look at them babies. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. The color on these is absolutely insane. And the flavor, even better. At this point, you can go meat side down in competition, that's what we do. But I'm going meat side up, baby backs. It's not gonna take long from here. Just to give you kind of an estimation of how long it took to get to this color, uh, right at about an hour and 15 minutes. Internally, they are about 140 to 147, depending on where you temp. So, I'm wrapping to color. Deep mahogany red, I'm wrapping. But if you want to know the temp, that is the temp. All we're going to do here is repeat that process again. Brown sugar. A little bit of blue butter. Another tip trick that I have never heard on the internet. I've never heard one person say it on the internet. If you want to take pictures of your food, use the blue butter, but spray. Shoot it on your brisket or whatever. Watch what happens. Really works on all meats, but chicken and brisket, phenomenal. I always get these two confused. Cherry apple habanero and cherry habanero. Glaze, sauce, both fantastic. So, just like that. Wrap these dudes up. Don't get crazy here. You got the bones on the bottom. They will poke through. Fold that over once. Seal it in. Clamp up that end. You will poke a hole in it, but delicate like me, put precautionary measures in place, you won't. Yeah, just told everybody what it was. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here. If you need to know, it's probably going to be about an eighth of a cup. You don't need much. At this point, you just really just need it to build up a little bit of steam. And I, I don't, I'm very humble, but if you watch our videos with no sound on, you'll probably learn twice as much. I just assume everybody knows the shit I'm saying. And nobody knows it. I go, why don't you wrap your ribs like that? Or why do you wrap your pork butt like that? Or, well, it's just the way I've always done it. Well, you never, oh, they don't know. All right. Boom, right back in the middle. Now from this point, I'm shooting for about 204. Last time I went 202, wasn't near the doneness that I want, so I'm gonna shoot for 204, open them up, take a toothpick to them. We just wait. Is that what we gotta do now? Just wait. All right, so it's been 45 minutes. We're just gonna temple. One eighty four, one ninety five. Probably going to be about another twenty, twenty five minutes. Been twenty extra minutes. So check them out. Boom, two, three, two, four. All right. So at this point. You want to bring them in, open them up, and let them steam out. Oh, those look fantastic, dude. Look at that. This professional stuff. All right, so at this point, this is how I do it in competition. I'm gonna flip them over, just like this. 
I'm going to put the cherry apple habanero glaze on the back. The reason why is when you bite into it, you're going to taste that first with your tongue. And then just brush it on. This is how we do it in competition. This little guy, I always leave a cowboy cut on this end. And that little bone trying to mess with me. Now from here, you turn them over. At this point in a competition, I'll always push them to make sure that they are separated. And now we sauce the top. All right, so I'm gonna be honest with you. These freaking look amazing, but they smell even way more amazing. And I'm dying to try them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this dude right here. The color on these is insane. And you can smell the cherry. All right. Oh man. That was a bite just off the top. Now let's get it with the top and the bottom. Look at that bite. Wow. These are unbelievable. These are freaking unbelievable. We knocked these out of the park. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you want this recipe, head on over to CosmosCube.com, print it off, make it for yourself, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. I'm going back in. Let's do. We're using our cherry, cherry wood. Yeah. Cherry apple wood. God dang. I can't remember. Really. So without further, I almost said it. Get down in there, sucker.